This Blender tutorial shows you how to quickly import a model into an example Blender render file. Here I've downloaded the Blender render example file. It has a pedestal and some lights. I can orbit around this scene by using two fingers on a trackpad or by using the middle mouse button and pressing down. At the top of the screen, I can switch between material preview and render view. For now, we'll stay in the default viewport shading view, which is this solid circle in the top right. If you do not see this menu, you can select it by pressing end or clicking this little arrow right here. If you zoom in using the scroll wheel or two fingers on the trackpad, you can see the bread. This is an example model that's inside the file. If you hold shift in middle mouse button or shift and two fingers on your trackpad, you can pan around. This is the origin of the scene. I'm going to import my other model into this scene. For now, I don't want to see the bread, so I'll select the bread, and over on the right-hand side, I'll click the eyeball and the camera, so it's no longer visible. Then go to File, Import. Select the file type that you need. In my case, it's an OBJ. Navigate to the folder that has your OBJ. Mine is located right here. Then select Import. It will automatically import into the origin, but most likely it is rotated in a strange way. So here I can click on Y, and then if I press R, I can rotate it this direction. If I click on X, now I'm looking in the X direction. I can press R and rotate it if I need like this, but it seems fine. Lastly, I can click in the Z direction and press R and then rotate it in the Z direction. It also is a little big, so if I need to scale it, I can press S and then scale. If I bring up this menu by clicking here, we can see that the scale changes. If I press S and scale again, the scale gets larger. It doesn't matter what size you scale it to, just scale it to an appropriate size. Once you're done scaling it, press Control A and select Scale. This resets the scale to one. Now we can go ahead and click Material Preview. and We can see that our texture is automatically linked. This should happen. If I want to look through the camera, I can click the camera icon here. It's a little close. So if I want to view through the camera and change it, I can select View, then lock the camera to view. Now if I zoom in and out, it actually moves the camera. But be careful, because if I orbit now, it changes the angle of the camera. So I'm going to move back and orbit, position this so I can get a nice render of this truck. Once I'm done positioning the camera, I want to turn off camera to view. And then lastly, we can change the lights. In this example scene, there's a fill light, a key light, and a top light. If you click on each of them, and then click on the light icon, you can change the intensity. Right now, I don't see anything change. That's because I'm in Material Preview. If I click on Render Preview, you'll notice that now the top light is very bright. I'm going to bring that back down to 1 Watt. I can click on the key light. I could also change its color. And then I'll click on the fill light and change its color. And I think I'm good to go. I'm going to render an image. To do that, go to Render, Render Image. Once the image is done rendering, select Image, Save. Label your image file and save as image. If you're unhappy with where the lights are, you can continue to change them. You could even add more lights. For example, this fill light, I might bring up the power. The same with the key light. And lastly, the top light. Then I can render again. You can also move the lights around. They're automatically locked to the pedestal, so they'll always look at it. So if I click off the camera and I zoom out a bit, I can select this light. And if I press G to move it, it will move around. But generally it's difficult to move this way. So click Z, the blue button right here, 
Now I'm looking straight down. If I press G, then I move it around like this. I can change where the light is and notice it's always pointing at the pedestal. Hopefully using this example Blender render scene allows you to put an object in Blender and take an image very quickly. Happy 3D modeling.